Hi, Dr. Q here from Star Nursery. Did you know that all cacti are succulents, but not all succulents are cacti? Many of you may think the only difference between the two are that all cacti have thorns, which is not true. Some cacti do not have thorns, like Christmas cactus and some Apuntia varieties, and some succulents do have them, like Euphorbia or Crown of Thorns. What defines a true cacti are areolas, which usually look like small, fluffy, cottony-like lumps on the body of the cactus where spines, branches, and flowers may sprout from. All cacti have them, while other succulents do not. What makes them all similar is that they have specialized cells that enable them to store water in their leaves, stems, or roots. They have a thick, leathery skin that can expand when filled with moisture and then shrink back down when the moisture is gone. That is why these plants are often rounded or have ribs that can expand and contract like a balloon or an accordion. And that's why they can survive long dry spells. However, there are a few things you should know before you start your own cactus or succulent garden. Some of them may sunburn if left in our intense afternoon sun especially if they get any reflected heat from windows or concrete. And many of them may freeze in our cold winter temperatures. So do your homework and look up or ask about exactly where to put the plant you want and take precautions to protect it when needed. If you buy a cactus or succulent that has been kept in the shade, don't put them out in the direct sun right away. If you don't acclimate them slowly to the full sun this time of year, they will sunburn. Try to gradually get it used to the intensity of the full sun before you plant it. Or you should plant it where it gets only morning sun and afternoon shade or filtered sun. The next thing you need to know is that they can easily be over watered. They need to be watered well when they are watered, but not watered often. The specialized roots of these plants are made to quickly absorb and transfer water to the stems whenever it's available. So they should only be watered when the soil is completely dry. By watering too frequently, they may rupture their storage cells, causing the stems to split open, or the roots may stay too wet and start rotting. That is also why good drainage is so critical for these plants. The roots will rot very easily if they sit in water for too long. For more information on these plants, get a free copy of our Star Note number 405 at any of our stores or at starnursery.com. Attend our free seminar on dealing with desert soils at 10 a.m. or 2 p.m. Saturday, August 29th at all star locations. And don't forget, I make house calls. Call 702-771-7827 to make an appointment. I'm Dr. Q and I'll see you next week.